what I'd like to do is to create two charts. The first is a column chart here. I'm going to highlight the details, go up here to the chart wizard, choose this chart here, choose this chart here and go to next. Now when you look at this you can see that I've got the numbers of the population but I've also got the year in there. I don't want that so I'm going to go up to series go to year in series and remove it and immediately that's removed year from there. The only thing is that I'd like to see year down here so I'm going to click into the x-axis and then click down to there and there they are there. Let's go on to next the title annual population chart axes are good enough grid lines are ok let's go to legend this is the legend an explanation point I could show it in all sorts of places but what I'd like to do is remove it. Now I don't want data labels or a data table at the moment so I'm going to go on to next and then I'm going to show it as an object in this this palette. So go there and there it is. So there's the first one. I can stretch this chart and it looks better already. I could just incidentally go up here and change these figures. By changing them here it changes them here and you see that the chart is dynamic. Now I'm going over here and going down to the second set of figures which is this pie chart area. Pie charts are easy. Let's go along up here to the chart wizard, click onto there. Now come down here there we are and choose pie. And the one I want is this one here, which is an exploded pie with visual three D visual effects. Go on to next. Now that's a nice figure to next title pie chart I'll call it pie chart 2 legend this legend is is a bit of a pain so I'm going to take that out of it data labels no I could put the percentages in okay Let's go on to next. And show it outside as a new page. So I'm going to press <laughs> pie chart to go to finish. Now there's my pie chart there. I've got percentages all around it. I can move it together, but I could click on just that section and pull it out. And that would be pretty good. I'd quite like these figures here to be bigger but I would change those later on. That's how to do a column chart and a pie chart. Thank you.